I knew he was coming out of REO, and REO, you know, that is a siege all by itself, and you feel a lot of times when you pick up an agent that's been in REO, though it's a good source of business, that you've got to take them through an emotional triage because, <laughs> uh, because the banks are very demanding. They don't care what your schedule looks like or how inconvenient it is, and they pile a lot of extra on there, and then take chunks of your income on top of it. So it's a tough biz. Mm. And you're always on the edge of, well, if I don't meet their expectations, they'll take this account or they'll they'll shrink me, you know, shrink down the number they give me. So that's that's rough. Um, but you know, to, so to snap out of that and get to the place where this is about connecting with people. Right. It's like PTSD a little bit. Yeah, I mean, not bit. that I'm trying to, to no. belittle that at all, but it's like, I got to be there. I got to do that. I got to make it happen or I'll lose it. Yeah. And it's trying to recover from that. Yeah. Well, and, and you know, I have to share with the clients, there's two things that are going to motivate you. There's either you're going to be motivated by inspiration or motivated by desperation. And desperation is, is a more powerful motivator. The challenge is, and, the, and that's where our EO agents are a lot, but not just them. I mean, it's a lot of us, it's right? We're, we're being chased by something. And the problem is if you stay in desperation, if that's your motivation for too long, it becomes despair. And you start feeling like you can't get out of that hole and you there isn't a way back out because you're constantly running away from something instead of being inspired towards something. Mm. So that's kind of the turnaround is, well, why do you want this money in the first place to inspire piece. it? Exactly. It's and that's the hardest piece. part of coaching a client. It's the hardest things for our clients is to realize that until we fix the underlying philosophies and mindsets, we're going to keep on going back to do whatever we do. It's like a default setting on your computer. Right. Yeah. You know? That's just the habit we got into. Yeah. We got to shift and change that. Yeah. That's pretty powerful.